Hey, how's it going guys? I uh, just wanted to give a quick update as to what's coming on the channel. I uh, got a lot of stuff from Banggood lately and from some of the manufacturers for testing. It's been kind of piling up a little bit. I'm running behind on testing. I haven't had time, so I gotta apologize for that. But anyway, I'm gonna try my best to get this uh, test done. I have to find a way to streamline the video editing part. That's what takes me the most so I may have to go to a much simpler format. So anyways, here's a whole bunch of motors and including this guy, the Tiny Hawk S. Uh, almost everything sent by Banggood, only this one, this one was sent by Gep RC Factory. So let's have a quick look at what I have here for testing. Uh, this one's the F80 Pro from T-Motor. Uh, this motor has been around for quite a while and uh, I had it for quite some time, just never got around to testing it. I requested this one from Banggood, so thanks to Banggood again uh, for uh, sending it. Uh, so this one's 1900 kV F80 Pro. So I got to test it. it would be good to have a uh, some results, so we can compare to the other similar size motors like the Pro the Hobby 2508 and some of the uh, uh, lower budget uh, Racer Star motors. So that'll be a good test. Next one is uh, this one's a Racer Star Air A2508. This one's 1200 kV. So pretty low kV. Uh, that's what they sent me. Bang good. So uh, it says it's designed by T Motor as well. So uh, uh, Racer Star has been coming out with uh, several motors made or designed by T Motor. So I'm curious to see how they perform. They certainly look and feel pretty good. It's gonna be interesting to see how they perform. Also, they sent me a set of four of these Racer Stars F40 Pro 2306. I actually asked if they could send me four so I could uh, set up a giveaway for these. Uh, these are 1600 kV, a mild setup for 6S. Then I have a bunch of uh, the T motors that Banggood sent me. So Banggood's been sending me a lot of stuff. Just haven't had a chance to test them yet, so I'm a little bit behind. Uh, this one's the F40 Pro 2, 1600 kV. And there it is, F40 Pro 2. So that one's going to be interesting to see how it performs. And this one's the F42, F60. Pro 2 1750 KV. So this one's 1750. I forget what the sizes are. F60 probably looks like a 2207, and the F40 looks like a 2306 or 2206. I'll measure it when I when I do the review on those. And there's another F40. Uh, this one's 2500 kV, so F40 Pro 2, 2500 kV. And also the BMS Racing Raptor Series, these are also by T Motor, 2700 kV. Uh, so this is from uh, the guys over at BMS uh, channel. They had their um, motor made by T Motor. So nice looking motor and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it performs 2700 kV so uh, the 4S and 5 inch prop is going to be the main uh, target for that motor. And Gephardt C also recently sent me their newest motors uh, 2207.5 GR 2207.5 these ones are 2400 kV uh, here it is. Uh, 4S Freestyle says there. Uh, again, nice looking motor. And these are the 3B Hobby. Uh, fairly new motors. Uh, over the last few months they came out. These ones are the 2207 Pro 1750 kV and 2450 kV. Uh, here's another company that has been making uh, nice motors for the most part they're, and uh, they're pretty well priced 
and um, this only made I think I don't know uh, I, I don't know if there there's any issues with uh, these motors I, I haven't been paying much attention I haven't seen anything um, oh, look at that they give you some nice golden mounting bolts wow pretty blingy and this just came in uh, as I was finishing the other portion of the video so I'll just add them here uh, with the cell phone these are uh, the new motors from Brother Hobby the Avenger 2806.5 1700 kV and 1300 kV and also this UC 2207 1750 kV I got five of these so I'll most likely be setting up a giveaway uh, for this uh, set of five so you get a full set and a spare one so let's just quickly take a look at these i guess this is the new series interesting new motor from brother hobby i'll put them through the thrust stand uh this one is going to be interesting to see how it performs and compared to the 2507 uh kind of a big motor so we'll see how it does with uh six seven inch props on 6s most likely and here's the Tiny Hawk S. Uh, this one comes in a nice semi hard case. It's from Emacs. Pretty cool. They sent me this one, uh, sent to me by Banggood. Looks like a lot of fun. Really tiny, pretty much buying a flight. Uh, and this one comes with everything. You just need your FPV goggles and radio. It's got the battery, it's got the charger, uh, two batteries actually. Uh, they give you a 2S and a 1S. So from what, what I've been seeing, the 1S is pretty pretty mild, pretty mellow, so for beginners. And with the 2S, uh, this thing really um, uh, livens up. Just one thing to note uh, is, is the material of the frame. Uh, looks like they did a really good job on this as you can see it's, it's quite flexible in a good way so that when you crash it doesn't seem like it would easily crack it'll just deform and it pops back into its original shape so that's quite good and it's actually pretty nice uh, slick looking as you can see uh, all is really nicely integrated I'm sure this thing is gonna be quite a good seller for Emacs especially now with a lot of the new rules they're making it more difficult to uh, to fly anything larger than 250 grams uh, so this one's gonna be quite nice uh, it's mainly the uh, they say it's mainly designed for indoor but I'm sure if you have a, a calm day outside at a small park uh, it'd be uh, perfect for flying outside as long as there's not that much wind anyways that's gonna be all the motors and uh, this one quad that I'm gonna be reviewing soon uh, so hopefully I can uh, start getting this uh, test done soon so keep an eye out for that alright uh, thank you everybody for taking uh, the time to watch this video and see the update and uh, hope to see you back soon with uh, some motor tests and reviews.